Hi guys, this is Otto from Motorize.it and today I'm going to show you how to add a timer to your already programmed RTS motor. So it's very straightforward, uh, but one thing to keep in mind is that the procedure for adding a remote control is the same as removing one. So if you want to add more than one um, roller shutter to your timer, you need to wait 15 minutes in between to prevent any trouble. So let's get started. I'm going to use uh, a smart RTS um, remote control, so a smart RTS timer, and the procedure is the same for the Comfort RTS or the Easy RTS. Um, it's a one channel remote, so keep that in mind. And I'm going to use a TELUS 4. If you have a TELUS 1, you don't need to switch channels first. With a TELUS 4, I'm going to start with that. So with a selection button, I'm going to find channel 1, which is where I programmed this roller shutter on. I'm going to turn over the remote and press the program button until the motor responds. I should just press it and hold it. So the motor has responded now. I'm going to do the same on the remote control, the timer, the smart RTS. First I have to find the program button, which is behind the lid and then on the top. So you remove the cover and then press the program button. And now the timer has been added to the memory of the motor. I'm going to test that, so I press up and it's responding, down as well. So that's working. Quickly test to see if this is still working. Should be. Yeah. So both are now controlling the motor. Um, this means that the motor is now operated by a timer, but also can still be used with the regular remote control. Now again, if you want to add another motor to the timer, keep 15 minutes uh, as a pause between um, adding one and the other. That's just to prevent any problems. Now if you have any questions about this procedure, about timers or remote controls, do let me know. The email address is info at motorized.it. See you next time.